What's up guys, it's your boy the Rogue Vet coming back at you with another video today. We're going to be talking about how much it costs to buy my Corvette C7 Stingray. Now if you are interested in getting one as well, this will maybe kind of give you an idea of how much it costs, but given you know my age and you know finances that might be a little bit different. But let's go ahead, let me break it down for how, what mine costs. So mine is a 2014 C7 Corvette Stingray Z51. It is a 2LT option car. It did have 17,000 miles on it, okay? It was a six-speed automatic transmission. It did have the Performance NPP exhaust on it as well. The Z51 rear spoiler was included as well as the black Z51 style wheels. It did come optioned with a carbon fiber roof and the red calipers as well was another option I believe you could get at the time. Those are pretty much, you know, a couple things that come with the car. Now, it is a 2LT, and I think back in the time, you could get red leather seats, which is what mine has inside. It's so a little bit of red leather interior to match. But other than that, those are just a couple small things that, you know, come with my optioned out car. If y'all know right now, it is June 2021. And as you can see, with the housing market, it's kind of crazy. There's not a lot of supply and, or, you know, materials to, I guess, build stuff or do whatever. There's a car shortage right now, if y'all don't know about the economy. So the asking price for this car at the Corvette warehouse in Dallas was $45,000. Now, we did go ahead and put a down payment of $20,000 which came down to an interest rate given my stats and stuff was 3.84 percent term loan was 72 months and monthly payment came out to around 442 a month now given you know that's what i could do at the time didn't want a very high payment so we opted to go a little bit more you know everybody's makes their own decisions with what they want to do with their money so you know that's what we did there but that's kind of the term loan and what the payments look like as far as that goes. So it really just depends, you know, on what you want to get. Now, I, I didn't want to go with, you know, just a base Stingray. I wanted something a little bit better than a base, but, you know, I didn't want to spend too, too much because once we hit the 50s, I really didn't want to, you know, start paying that much. So C51 is, you know, pretty good, you know, trim to start off with. You get a couple more little appearance package, you know, mods, I guess you can say, like, you know, the wheels, the spoiler, Know, stuff like that you know you get bigger brakes you know you get a two some dry oil system you know a couple things like that so it's, it's just a little bit better than a base and you know i wasn't trying to you know go full blown spend a lot on a grand sport or a z06 you know i mean i would love to have one of those cars but you know i just wasn't trying to spend you know a whole bunch of money the current market for this car if you look on the screen there the trade-in value of my car given the mileage and all the specs trade-in value is between about 50,000 to 55,000 with about a median of 50 52 and some change so you can see there the car is appreciated in value given the market and the economy right now so I got it asking price was 45 now look it's trading at 52 and if we move on to the next one, you're going to see that private party value is right about the same. 50 to 55 with a $52,000 median for a private party. Now, if we go to, you know, the new one, which shows the excellence. So the other one here before, that was very good condition. This one here shows excellent condition about 53,000 to 58,000 but remember that's it's you know that's like I think a 3% chance of all cars there so but I just wanted to show y'all the way that looks there so about you know 50 53 to 58,000 is trade-in on excellent value and then if you want a private party 53 to 58 again so about 55 56,000 so you can kind of see where the you know <laughs> The car market is right now with buying a C7 Corvette. So if you got the money to spend, you really want one. I mean, you can do that. But man, it is really crazy right now for, for I mean, any car. But I mean, if you're trying to buy a Corvette or, you know, a sports car or a truck or something like that right now, it's the car market is crazy right now just because everything's skyrocketing and there's not, you know, the vehicle shortage. So, you know, that's kind of making things a little difficult as far as getting a car. But those are kind of the numbers that I wanted to go over real quick with my car. 
more videos to come later guys i just wanted to make these quick videos just to show y'all you know my numbers for the car in case y'all were kind of wondering so all right well i hope you all enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video please follow my social media pages on my tiktok instagram youtube all those to help me out but until the next one guys i hope you all enjoyed it this is the road vet out everyone have a great day peace